we need to go into our email marketing client provider ConvertKit that I use, and I'll show you how to connect um, this signup form with the opt-in that you just created. So go into ConvertKit, and I, I really like ConvertKit. They work really well for me. They're easy to use. You can see where your subscribers are coming from every day, how many you're getting, kind of, these are all opt-in forms that I have on my, um, my blog, so a bunch. Um, and they all convert at different rates. So I'm continuously testing and seeing what works with my readers and what doesn't and what do I need to make more of. So say for example, okay, you're gonna be new, you're creating a new form, a new opt-in form. Most of the time, I like when it's clean and easy like this. I like when it's just a quick little bar to have your first name, email address, and download. I don't really prefer this method. It just depends on what, what you like. All right, so we go back to ConvertKit. We'll do a quick, clean form. So you can change here download list you can change your button color I like warm colors save all right well one thing before we do this let's go upload your um, opt-in right okay so go I am logged in okay go to media add new because you're gonna have to put that PDF file somewhere so that people can go download it. So we'll choose our PDF file that we just created. There you go. Okay, there's our PDF file. And upload that to your blog back end. I feel so revealing. I'm showing you everything that's going on in my blog. All right. So copy that URL for your blog, for your, for your PDF. Okay. And then we go back to ConvertKit. We have, this is our sign up box. If we go into settings, we'll retitle this. This is for your purposes only 43 ways to be a better mom so you can see which opt-in form this is go to your incentive email once they um, you can change the subject line of confirm your subscription once they confirm you can give them the incentive download you can either upload it here or direct it back to that URL that you just have so once they confirm they get that URL and then you save the form so what you do then in the main settings if you have sequences set up, like I showed earlier in that um, in the post, you can add them to any of your sequences. So if they're interested in blogging, these are the sequences that I currently have on my um, in ConvertKit for me. So they sign up to your opt-in and they're automatically put into the sequence. So as soon as they're on your email list, they already have automatic emails that are going to them without you having to send those again. I mean, that's already, they're in your funnel, they're getting to know you through that funnel emails, and as they go through the funnel, you're starting to get responses from them and getting to know them better. So having an autoresponder for your list is amazing to start building relationships with your customers. All right, so we have, they get the PDF. Now we have to embed this in our, in our, um, website side, right? Because now everything on ConvertKit is set up. Now we need to copy this code. And you can just right click and say copy. There you go. Um, go back to your post. So then go to the text side so you can look at the HTML. And then just paste it there. So there is your little sign up form. So if you go back to the visual, you'll see, okay, that little picture right there, that's your signup form. I'll show you in a minute how, in a minute how it's going to look. Um, let's upload that little preview so the user sees what they're getting before they download it. All right, little preview. There you go. 
I'll show you. Okay, there's a the little preview that we created, right? Open that. Four or three ways to be a better mom. All right. So let's put this nicely in the middle. There's all kinds of different things that you can do to make this look a little better. Larger font and all those nice things. All right. So now when you preview this, or actually I'm not going to publish this because it's not complete. But when you're done with your post and you hit publish, we'll just hit preview for now. You'll actually see this entire thing work out. So you have your post up here. You have your tips. Here, download. Oh, my goodness. This is great. I would love 43 amazing ways to be a better mom in five minutes or less. Fantastic. Then you have your preview and you can have your reader sign up, give your email address. They'll download the list after they confirm their email list and they get a freebie. You get a new potential reader. I mean, a new potential client and everybody's happy. So they're being put into that email sequence. Um, the, it could either be a welcome series or it could be a funnel into a product or an affiliate product. And, um, that's kind of how the whole thing works. So let me know if you have any questions. I hope that was super helpful. Very high level. Well, some of it was a little detailed. <laughs> so I hope that really helped you know how to design opt-ins and add them to your website.